How to automatically send and receive signals on RS-485 RS-485 falls under the half-duplex standard, which provides communication in both directions, but only one direction at a time. In the software flow control, we can use RTS signal to select direction. In modern design, Super IO can control flow direction automatically. This video will demonstrate how to turn on the auto flow control function of the RS-485 in the BIOS. Once the auto flow control function is turned on, the signals can be sent and received automatically on the RS-485. We have two types of BIOS, AMI and Inside Edge Tool. After entering the BIOS Setup Utility page, you can tell which one it is. Please follow the steps below to enter BIOS Setup Utility page. First, restart your computer or turn it on if it is already off. Second, quickly press the delete key several times to enter BIOS Setup Utility page. BIOS name will be shown at the top of BIOS Setup Utility page. This one is AMI, American Megatrend Incorporation BIOS. Use the arrow keys to select Advanced Page, NCT 61060 Super Arrow Configuration, and press Enter. Select the corresponding serial port configuration and press Enter. Set the COM driver mode as RS-485 driver. Make sure that the setting is correct, then press the F4 key to save the setting and exit. After the setting is saved in the AMI BIOS, the signals can be sent and received automatically on the RS-485. Next is Inside h 2 o BIOS. Please press the Delete key to enter Inside h 2 o BIOS Setup Utility page. Use the arrow keys to select Advanced Page, CO Nouveau Tone 61060, and press Enter. Select the type of corresponding COM port and set as RS-485. Make sure the setting is correct, then press the F10 key to save the setting and exit. After the setting is saved in the inside h 2 o BIOS, the signals can be sent and received automatically on the RS-485. Contact us at inquiry at dfi.com if you have any questions.